Hello, my name is Izzy and I'm a tutor on Cambly. Today we're going to learn 10 different idioms in English to help you sound more like a native speaker. Idioms are expressions that have a figurative meaning, which is different from their literal meaning. The phrase, kill two birds with one stone, is an example of an idiom. Fluent and native English speakers understand that this doesn't refer to harming birds or using stones, but that someone is completing two tasks at once. Idioms often reflect a commonly held cultural view or experience, even if it is now out of date and isn't something people use anymore. For instance, you might say that someone should bite the bullet when they need to do something they don't want to do. The origin of the phrase refers to wounded soldiers biting down on a bullet to avoid making noise during a wartime operation. This common occurrence from the past resulted in a phrase that we still use today. Idioms are used a lot in everyday conversations and can understandably be challenging to understand for non-native speakers, as what people are saying when they use these expressions cannot be taken literally. Because there are no real rules for idioms, the only way for language learners to become familiar with them is to learn the meanings. Now let's go through 10 of the most common English idioms that are used in everyday conversation. The first idiom is the best of both worlds. This means you can enjoy two different opportunities at the same time. For example, she works in the city and lives in the country, so she gets the best of both worlds. Here's the second idiom. Speak of the devil. This means that the person you're just talking about appears at that exact moment. For example, speak of the devil. Sarah's just arrived. The third idiom is a piece of cake. This expression is used to mean that something is very easy. For example, the maths exam was a piece of cake. The next idiom is to cost an arm and a leg. This means that something is very expensive. For example, I went to the hairdresser on Monday and it cost me an arm and a leg. The fifth idiom is once in a blue moon. This means an event that doesn't happen very often. For example, I only have a takeaway for dinner, once in a blue moon. The sixth idiom is to feel under the weather. This is used to mean to not feel well or to feel sick. For example, Hannah won't be at work today. She's feeling a bit under the weather. The seventh idiom is you can't judge a book by its cover. This expression means to not judge someone or something based only on appearance. For example, I thought the food at this restaurant would be terrible, but it's not at all. I guess you can't judge a book by its cover. The eighth idiom is break a leg. This means good luck. It is often said to actors before they go on stage. For example, break a leg, Sam. I'm sure your show will be amazing. The ninth idiom is call it a day. This means to stop working on something for the moment. Often this is used when someone is finishing their day at work. For example, I'm exhausted. I think I will do one more task and then call it a day. And the last idiom is to cut corners. This means to do something badly or cheaply. For example, they really cut corners when they built the bathroom. Even the shower is leaking. Now let's practice whether we have understood these idioms correctly. Based on the context of each of the phrases I'm going to say, can you guess which idiom I would use? When I say the word blank, this is where the idiom would be in the sentence. So number one, don't worry, Sophie, this job interview will be blank for you. You have all the skills they need and I think you're definitely the best candidate. Don't worry, Sophie, this job interview will be a piece of cake for you. You have all the skills they need and I think you're definitely the best candidate. Number two, did you hear what happened to Anna yesterday? Oh, blank, here she is. Did you hear what happened to Anna yesterday? Oh, speak of the devil, here she is. Number three. I'd love to go to Barbados, but it's so much money. It would blank. I'd love to go to Barbados, but it's so much money. It would cost an arm and a leg. Number four. Take your time, don't blank, and follow the instructions. Take your time, don't cut corners, and follow the instructions. Number five, I was disappointed when I saw the outside of my new home, but I was amazed at the living room as I went inside, blank. 
I was disappointed when I saw the outside of my new home, but I was amazed at the living room as I went inside. Don't judge a book by its cover. Number six. I got a deal that let me stay in a five-star luxury resort at two-star prices. It was blank. I got a deal that let me stay in a five-star luxury resort at two-star prices. It was the best of both worlds. Number seven. Because I live in Australia and my family live in England, I only get to see my parents blank. Because I live in Australia and my family live in England, I only get to see my parents once in a blue moon. Number eight, I have cleaned the kitchen, vacuumed the house and done the laundry. I think I'll blank. I've cleaned the kitchen, vacuumed the house and done the laundry. I think I'll call it a day. Number nine, the twins were both feeling blank today, so they stayed home from school. The twins were both feeling under the weather today, so they stayed home from school. And number 10, do you have an exam tomorrow? Blank. I'm sure you'll do well. Do you have an exam tomorrow? Break a leg. I'm sure you'll do well. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Cambly, Cambly gives you instant access to friendly native English speakers. You can take English lessons anytime, anywhere, right from your phone or computer. Schedule your next lesson with me using the link below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.